Google knows everything about you, and it's not shy to show it. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. If you like talking to Google, you can now ask it personal questions. The Google Now Voice recognition tools are being folded into Google Search. So not only can you ask the Google app or Google.com a question to find how many calories are in a hamburger, but now you can ask it personal questions about what's on your calendar or what's in your email. The worlds of Gmail, Google Plus, and Google Search are merging together and it's rolling out to all users by the end of the week. You can ask Google Search questions about your scheduled flight information and it finds the answer sitting in your inbox. You can ask it to pull up specific types of photos you posted on Google Plus or when's your next appointment in your calendar. It'll also know when that package is going to arrive. That is, if you have a shipping notice that's sent to your Gmail, the system can understand many versions of the same question, such as what time is my flight or when does my flight leave. This new level of search will work in most Google apps, including the Chrome browser on desktops and mobile, as well as the Google search apps on Android and iOS. If Google tapping into your email for searches has you feeling funny, you can disable the feature. To temporarily turn it off, click the globe icon at the top right hand corner of the search page and it'll turn off personalized results for just that current search session. To permanently disable it, go to the gear icon, select search settings, and go to private results. There you'll have the option to permanently disable personalized results. In other news, Twitter is experimenting with a new trending box. It's showing up in some people's timelines and it showcases hot TV shows people are buzzing about, but it's not an official feature yet. New details keep coming in about Microsoft's Xbox One. In an interview, an Xbox general manager said the game system will be self-aware of its temperature and to prevent overheating, it'll speed up a fan and even cycle down its power usage to cool off. And looking ahead, the next version of Windows will make its debut on October 18th. It's called Windows 8.1 and all Windows 8 users around the world can download this free update through Microsoft's Windows Store. It'll also be available in retail stores on new computers and tablets. The new version offers something similar to a start button, but you still don't have the start menu. The button is just a shortcut to get back to the start screen. There's also an option to load the desktop mode when the computer turns on, that is if you want to bypass past that start screen with the tiles. And if you do use the start screen, there will be new ways to personalize it. That's your tech news update, and you can read up on more details at CNET.com update and follow along on Twitter. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.